Sabine, blessings to you. This is going to be a continuation of me doing my uh, tarot card layouts that I told everybody that I would continue to try to do. Um, I've had a lot of uh, extra time on my hands today. I've gotten quite a bit of work done, and it's fairly nice outside. It's not as cloudy as it was. So um, I talked about creating, I don't know if it's in the first the video or the second video, I actually talked about creating your own tarot card uh, spell, spell book, bleh, your own tarot card, uh, kind of like your own little journal of your layout. And this is just a dollar store spiral book that I picked up. And I've actually started my own, like, little layouts and stuff. And so, there's the crossroads spread. And if you do do the crossroads spread, you should actually do this on a new moon or close to a new moon because this is considered divination for um, for Hecate. So um, whenever I have issues during, um, during the new moon, I'll sit down and light a couple of black candles and light some incense and basically ask questions and see what she has to tell me. There is a self-healing spread that uh, I've got in here. There is a quick love spread, and there is a hexagram spread that I've done with all of the questions, and what should I do spread, uh, pros and cons, situation. So um, if there's anything, I'm going to be showing everybody a little bit more uh, here in the book. For now, I want to focus on uh, actually doing this and helping everybody out. Um, there is a simplified six-card tarot card spread that I want to show everybody. It's not like the traditional ten card. Um, it is for general overview aspects of what's going on in the situation and helping you pinpoint kind of extra information that you may be missing. So I'm actually going to show everybody how to do this spread. Your first card is going to be down here on the on the bottom. And that card is the past and the influence that the past still has on the question. So this is actually saying that what question you're asking, it actually somehow is connected to or is relevant to the past of why you're asking this question now. Your second card is the obstacles that are in your path. And that card goes right there. Your third card influences working in your favor. And that one would go right there. So basically it's kind of like a little boxy type tarot card reading. Uh, the next one is the near future. And that one goes to the top. Your next one is long-term future. And that goes right there. And your final outcome card would be number six, which would be right here. So, one, two three, four, five, six. So that is that layout right there. Um, there is a way, and I'm actually, I've got some notes here that I'm looking at right now. Um, there is actually a way to actually pinpoint uh, with days, weeks, months, and stuff like that. So because I'm not very familiar uh, with these cards here, because these are a fairly new deck that I'm still trying to get used to. These were actually given to me as a gift. Um, as an example, I'm going to go one, two, three. So I'm actually going to show you guys here. There we go. That's better. I don't want that one. Uh, 
Okay. So, basically, cups equal days. Anything that is a cup represents days. Uh, unless next to pentacles. So, there are, uh, well, this one here is actually next to a pentacle, so I would actually consider that as a day. Uh, so, the cups represent days. The wands represent weeks. Swords represent months. And pentacles represent years. So, you would start out with your year. So, pentacles, I've got one, two, so that would be two years. Uh, the next one we would go would be swords, which would be two years. Two swords, one, two, two years, two months. And two days. So, pentacles equal years. So, we've got two cards that represent pentacles. So, that's two years. Swords represent months. Two months. And cups represent days. Two days. So, two, two, two. And that's actually really, really creepy because right now, um, the number sequence that I'm stuck on right now is 222. Two, two. Um, my 333 three, three has now gone from 333 three, three to 222. Two, two. That's actually quite creepy because I just randomly went through the deck. I thought I was going to be using that one and I decided not to and I reached in and I grabbed another card. So this is actually funny, 222. Two, two. <laughs> oh man, God, the divine works in weird ways. Um... Two 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 in the angel uh the angel magic number by Doreen Vir Virtue. I've got some stuff on my brain right now. Um and the two 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 basically says that it's okay, everything's gonna be all right, the angels are behind you, blah blah blah. So um I I'm still kind of worried about some things, but apparently the divine is still trying to say, You're okay, you're okay, you're fine. So yeah, that that's a little freaky. Um <laughs> Uh, another thing that I want to share with everybody with uh, card aspects is that if you want to know a specific question uh, and you want to do a yes or no aspect, you can actually hold the deck in your hand and shuffle them really good and say all aces indicate yes. The absence, the, the more there, there's the less of ace, it's, it's a definite no. So I would ask a question, something like, um, is is my sister going to be okay with what she's dealing with? And you would shuffle the cards, and then you would turn them upside down. So I'm going to kind of do my best here to hand shuffle. Okay, so... All right, I've actually kind of hand shuffled them here, and you would actually count out thirteen. So what happens is, is you go one, two, three, four, five. All right, that's an ace. So you stop, and I actually do earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. So I actually lay out five cards, five sets of cards. So that's that's one set. One, two, three, four. All right, that's that's another ace. So you stop there. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so you stop there. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so there's nothing there. So you start one more, one more rack. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four aces. So this is indicating to me that everything is going to be okay, that I'm not going to have to worry. So this is a really, really quick way of asking some questions, um, sh like contacting your guides and asking your guides to help you make choices and decisions. I've done this a number of times when I've gotten into jams, considering, um, okay, the gas bill is this much. I don't have the money to pay the whole amount what should I do? Should I let it lapse over to the next month when we have more money? Or should I go ahead and pay a little bit of money on it? And I use this as a way to kind of help me help me get through a lot of the bad parts in the month because of the money getting tight and winter coming and all that stuff. So this is really, really accurate. And um, it's it just it blows my mind how, how well it works. Um, I'm going to uh, show you guys a couple of more layouts. And I'm going to probably stop here because I'm trying my best to keep the time under 15 minutes so I don't have to keep editing and cutting bad, you know, cutting stuff out and breaking stuff down. So I'll be with everybody back in just a moment.